It's Friday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. It's the 1st of March on First Chair Friday, and I was ripping it up with a whole lot of first-timers out at A Basin. Sarah's up from Denver. She's only been skiing seven times ever. What have they told you about this place? They said it's hard. <laughs> no greens, no greens. They said no greens. Greens are blues and blues are blacks. Bronwyn and Brett from British Columbia, they're on a five-week ski trip. We started up in Big Sky. We've been to Grand Targhee, Jackson Hole, Sun Valley, Alta, Snowbird, Snow Basin, and now here. So what did they hear about A Basin? Great snow. Looking forward to some great snow. Justin from New Jersey was getting his first taste of the East Wall. Colorado's insane, but A Basin's on another level. Snow is good, it's pretty soft, no real crazy powder, but there's great lines, plenty of skiing, wide open above the tree line. It's it's like nothing else, nothing like out east. Snow totals are in from February and Beaver Creek got the most last month, 68 inches. Breck had the most in Summit with 63 inches. Copper got 60 inches, Loveland 56, Vail 50, Keystone 48 inches. Copper and Vail are tied for the most this season, 215 inches. A local jury heard testimony yesterday in the manslaughter case against one-time Breckenridge local Miles Tovar. Five police officers took the stand explaining what they saw that night in 2019. They found Tovar with a gunshot wound to the leg and his roommate Brendan Rye unresponsive with a serious eye wound. Rye died later at the hospital. John Copeland, the new COO at Breckenridge, believes seasonal employees are more important than just one season. They're more engaged at the resort, they're more engaged in town, they're more engaged in the community. His other reason? Returning employees are easier on training. Want to make sure your favorite trail is clear of deadfall this summer? Buy a ticket to the Wild and Scenic Film Festival in Breck tomorrow night. It benefits the Eagle Summit Wilderness Alliance and one of their biggest programs, Deadfall Trimming. Tickets are $30 today, $35 at the door. Local avalanche danger remains considerable today at most elevations in Summit County and the Vale area. Danger is moderate below treeline. About two weeks ago, a backcountry ski guide and his client were buried in these exact same conditions near Red Mountain Pass down south when they skipped a heavily used slope for a steeper, more wind-loaded slope with no tracks. In sports, the Avalanche beat the Blackhawks 5 to nothing last night. The Nuggets beat the Heat 103 to 97. World Cup men, they're racing giant slalom right now in Aspen. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz and Associates with American Family in Dillon. It's rivalry night at the Ice Rink in Breck when the Breckenridge Vipers play the Vail Yeti for game one of a weekend series. Tomorrow's game, that's over in Vail. And tomorrow, the Summit Eye Tigers are playing in the Frozen Four. They have liberty for the state tournament. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.